big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, Say, on. man, we got. Uh, what she just say? I don't know. I, I, said, said, you say. I, I said, Madam, I am here. That's what I said. <laughs> what I am here. <laughs> Listen, man. I, mean, I said, what's going on? Say, man, you know, uh, we got special guests in the house today. These are iconic figures in our day. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of people didn't even understand how the connect went down, man. But we've been coming together, man. And, hey, man, it's been going down, man. We got Mama Scott and Charleston J. White on the show today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's hey, up? man. What's yeah. Man, you know, we came to talk about uh specifically. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we come to talk about specifically the Fast Bash. Mm -hmm. We had an opportunity to attend the Fast Bash this weekend. And man, was it a great joy to walk in that room and wow. see all our people like that, man. Man. Man, I hey, thank you so much for that. For, for, for bringing us to Fast Bash and opening it up to us and letting us be a part of this, man. Because I really would have missed it if I had a kept on, you know, stiff arming you like I would. You know what I'm saying? Because I said I wasn't fooling with no Mama Scott. I meant that. I'm like, I'm not fooling with that woman. She, she like the, uh, what did I say that woman name was down there? Dale, but Atlanta. I said, I'm not oh, fooling with no oh, Dale. Like Dale. Yeah, I no, said, I'm man, not I, fooling with these folks. I rock with Miss Dale. Yeah, no, 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 I said, yeah, but it's, it's yeah, a leadership yeah, role. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The, like, yeah, yeah, that Mama Brown. Yeah, yeah, like, oh, no, hell no, I'm not dealing with that. And then I had the opportunity to meet you. Yeah. And I was like, man. I gotta show Charleston this. <laughs> like we all gonna do this together. But yes. it was just a dope segment, you know, the way y'all, you know, the way we seen black excellence in that room yes. and the way that you had that organized. Ain't nobody never did nothing like that before. Wow. But it came to an abrupt stop. It did. And that was something that really like like dang, like I lost it. Like Very I, unexpected. Yeah, yes. I, like 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 dang, we lost it. And and, and sucked all the air out of me. Yeah, I think everybody, you everybody, can see it in everybody's yeah. face and the frustration that everybody was in. Yeah. Trilly was, I mean, he had big tears almost yeah. coming out of his eyes. Yeah. That nigga said, E, man, we, I said, come on, Trilly. We was talking and walking, trying yes. to figure it out. No, y'all, y'all was talking and walking. You and Charleston was trying to figure yeah. it out. Me and Trilly was, we was together on a whole nother level trying yeah. to figure it out, you know, on the outside. And it was like, man, we couldn't, I couldn't move it. Yeah. And I thought I was bad because I can talk. <laughs> no, 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 no. I said, man, let me go talk to him. Yeah. Then I tell you that truth, <laughs> and it didn't work. Yeah, they were already set in their minds um, to me that it was gonna be over early. I feel like. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, man. So I mean, it was a lot of production there. I've never seen that type of production in the East Texas area. No. It was. I've never seen that. Uh. No, I thought I was at a uh, 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 backstage of the BET Award. <laughs> yeah, all, all them. All, what, what was them cases? What, what was all them? Yeah, them cases. Things? He what had those cases. That? Those are to carry all that equipment, man. Yeah, and yeah, I don't know what that was, man. <laughs> then all, all them, them TVs cameras and cameras. And yeah, and I'm looking in corners seeing cameras. I'm like, yeah. damn, I ain't those camera in that corner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and so, uh, and so then we get. I got to see something. Uh, <laughs> I guess from a producer's standpoint, yeah. or when they producing shows, yeah, what they really look like on stage, yeah, it's a big difference when you watching in front of the stage from yeah. what you seeing, so you can see the flaws, you can yeah. see the, the the insecurities of the artist, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah the, when the artists get on camera, just know, nigga, you that camera exposing you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, all your all your imperfections. You know, I was, I, I was, but I you got to think about it though, although it expose all of that by the time the editing and everything goes on yeah. it covers all of that yeah. you don't right. see yeah. that by the time the finished product comes out yeah. right yeah yeah it, I, I when got charged I'm like man come look at this you remember yeah. <laughs> like, this nigga, I ain't never seen nothing like this uh, well, well you know I was I was I was listening uh to what he was saying he yeah. was saying that the artist needed something else on stage yeah. that particular artist was on stage by itself he was like, he needs some dancers. He need uh, yeah. some props. Yeah. Uh, he just looked single out there. So mm -hmm. uh, I was paying attention. Yeah. Uh, you know, that that was the time to soak yeah. up some game. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. And then even when we sat on the couches and we had the audio, we didn't, I mean, we couldn't hear each other, but they could hear us loud and clear. They doing all the sound checking. Yeah. We oh, just I can't wait till they release that. Oh, we forget it. Oh, yeah. It, it'll be, yeah. I, I'm getting, yeah. I'm editing it. So I'm yeah. going to be throwing all the, 
you know, the lower thirds and all that, it's going down. So man. listen, yeah. so all I can think about is say, man, uh, say, boy, they spend a lot of motherfucking money for this <laughs> That's shit. That's what I said. <laughs> say, say, boy, say, they got that, they ain't yes, got no, Yes, that part. Yeah, they got white boy yeah, cameraman. Yeah, white boy was yeah. saying, Ball count head down, white boys. Yeah. Count it down. Yeah. Yeah. Ball head white that, boy. That nigga count it down. Did you see him? Yeah. Like, that nigga say, I that thought I, I, I'm, I'm over there like, yeah, you know that nigga say, and they had the red and green. <laughs> say, and they had the red and green light. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They, they were backwards. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All them lights supposed to be green. That old red. He like when it turned red. The nigga explained it to me. The white yeah. boy say when it turned red, you own. When it turned green, it's off. Yeah. I said, all right, I can I, I shoot it backwards. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And, 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 and he worked as if uh, he wasn't at the show. Yeah, so he yeah, yeah. Got, he, he never, never even got distracted spoke. by the show. Yeah, right. that's so true. Yeah. yeah, he never got distracted and, by the show. And and I and like I said, I had never witnessed nothing like that. Yeah, you know, I had I've been around a lot of electronics and I deal with electronics, but right. I deal with it from a different angle. Right, I broadcast out to everybody. Right, but to do something isolated to a you know just a specific project, I've never done that. Wow. Yeah. But I seen it done, you know, on TV. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I've never had it done. Exactly. <laughs> well, you had it done. But in my mind, I was like, man, if when I was just creating the vision, when I would talk to Trilly, my husband, my children, I'd be like, fuck that, man. I almost died at the end of December of 2020. Yeah. I almost died. I'm talking about literally, I'm going all the way in because the first thing I was thinking in that bed at that hospital was, I ain't did this. Yeah. I ain't did this. Lord, don't take me now. Jesus, I ain't yeah. did nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I... I wanted, and I also made myself change the way I view like money. Okay. You know, because. Um, Explain. <clears throat> I knew at that point nothing that I had, no cash, no merchandise, no materialistic things was going to save me at that point. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So all of that shit didn't fucking matter when I'm sitting there and couldn't half ass fucking breathe. <laughs> you wow. know, I'm like, wow. I give it all, Lord, just let me live. Yeah. And if a person ever been through that, you know, where you literally have are facing death, you know, slowly. Mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. slowly facing it. Um, it made me look at it differently <clears throat> because I made myself say just, you know, to myself, it's a lot of things that you, you could improve on right now. If you was to be here, what would you do? And my thing was I want to change lives. Wow. I want to affect lives. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I want to be an influence in a positive manner. Okay. And just not to the detriment of me, like hurt me and my family, but if I had excess, I want to pour back. I want to give my people things that people have not given us. Show them that we can have hope because everybody's so stuck in it ain't never going to change mentality. So you keep doing the same repetitive ass shit and you ain't coming up with no kind of solution to the problem. Everybody talking about what we need, but ain't nobody doing shit about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you want to create that change. Yes. And so start up yeah, here. So I got out there and East Texas can tell you, so shout out to Longview, my hometown, oh, where really? I reside right now. <clears throat> I got along with Trilly, and then my sons gave me the purpose to do what I'm doing when I came off the couch, and that was my first intention. When I came on the scene, uh, we had, this is no lie, 19 unsolved murders in the city of Longview. Wow. And I watched my husband cry in the bathroom one, one night because one of the kids that had got murdered was somebody he raised or helped raise. Wow. He knew and that all child. of these 19 kids were all black? Yes, all minorities. You know, wow. so it was bad back then, and that shit wasn't cool to me. I'm like, y'all around here killing each other. People's families hurting. And, oh, you shot my family, now I'm gonna go over here and shoot your family type shit. And we just gonna keep shooting at each other, keep hurting families, keep shooting up in houses with kids and wives and, you know, just women, and you don't get it, but you gangster. Wow. You're not gangster. And I got out in the middle of the park, and everybody could tell you that from East Texas, I adamantly speak on stop killing each other. The fuck you doing? Yeah, yeah. That shit ain't cool. So they didn't have anything to do. I felt like to vent, to actually get how they felt out. To you know, a lot of it was a lot of a lot of young black males that don't have nurturing. They don't have people to go to that can direct them, and they're trying to figure it out. Even as young black males, a lot of black families in their heads think when a child is eighteen, you grown, you put your kids out there, but they don't even know. Still, half of them don't even have no direction when they get to that age. So age does not define maturity or being ready for this life. I'm not turning my back. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. On anybody. 
so that Ch- I know. Charleston, what do, what, do, what do you think about that? Oh, your children don't never stop being your children. Even when they get 28 and yeah. 30, they still go need your direction. They still go need your correction mm-hmm. yeah. uh, as well as your guidance, right, uh, in, in your love, right? So your children never stop being, being your children, and, and you never stop being a parent. Yeah. Uh, that's what got me about this event. Uh, when you told me about it, um, I was just gonna do the the prom- the promo, yeah. the promotional. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, I was kind of like you, uh, man. Fuck them rap niggas out there in East Texas, <laughs> man. Rapping ass niggas, man. Yeah, fuck them niggas. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, them niggas killing each other, man. Yeah. Shit, fuck them. So yeah. yeah. So you sent me the link, right? Yeah, I did. And I didn't, I didn't look at it. Yeah. But you just kept telling me why yeah. she did it. Yeah, yeah. You, you kept saying why she was doing this. So when when I when I clicked on the link and 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 saw that little funny looking white woman on the news talking about it, uh, I said, oh man, she got white folks' attention. She sure got mine now. <laughs> yeah. That's so, true. So yeah, nigga, she got white folk talking yeah, about it. Nigga, yeah. well, I, I perked up. Hey, let me see what she got yeah. going on. And so, <laughs> a, 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 as the as the news clipping went on, and man, uh, uh, yeah, I said, no, nah, man, uh, uh, my spirit was convicted. That's uh, right. Uh, so that's when you know something is is is, is righteous. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it convicts you. Uh, so uh, I said, no, nah, man, tell I, I, I'm gonna be there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I yeah, remember that. Yeah. What you say? I, I, I'm gonna be there, and so I started calling uh, uh, my my city officials. Say, man, it's this woman down there. So I started sending <laughs> oh, no, a link. No, that's to how him. you do it. Yeah, so I started calling my city officials, saying, "Hey, man, uh, man, this is a uh, this is innovative. Uh, this is." Uh, yeah, I started trying to pick the right kind of adjectives, right? Yeah, uh, 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 yeah this is trailblazing. Uh, I ain't lying. I said, uh, I said innovative. I yeah. said trailblazing. Yeah. And, and what else I said? A uh, trend, a uh, uh, trend sending, right? That this was set trends. Yeah. Uh, because what she doing? She getting all these little killing motherfuckers and they friends who doing the killing, right? And putting them all in one place. Wow. And giving them a stage to be seen and to be heard and to be celebrated, to be admired, something that yes. they typically don't get in their day-to-day life. And this really what they killing behind. Yeah, real talk. If, Attention. If, 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 uh, and, and, and I'm gonna say this on air, if Bebe would've sat down and talked to Mo3, mm-hmm. that's all he wanted. That's if, all he if, wanted. If, 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 if Mo3 could've got to perform at that show with Yellow Beezy where he got arrested. That's all he wanted. Wow. So if they could have got Mo3, Yellow Beezy, and Trap Boy Freddy all in one place and let them perform at separate time and let the people clap, let the people do, they could have saved something, right? Wow. So when I hear her Heavy. say she want to save and impact lives, that's what I got out of the spirit of, of just hearing about why she's doing this event. Wow. Uh, so yeah, I was excited uh, to come. So yeah. uh, I really wasn't coming to to perform and, and participate. <laughs> uh, I was coming as a spectator. Yeah. So I can so I can take this message uh, back to my village, and 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 you know so we can repeat it. Wow, mm-hmm. that's dope, and that's what that's what everybody should want to do. Yeah. In their neighborhoods, in their villages, as you stated, yeah. they should want to take yeah. the message back in a way to where it can change the narrative when it comes to saving lives. Yeah. Especially with a you cause I mean? this magnitude. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Yeah. So. Yeah. And, and and let me just say this: uh, she couldn't have done this uh, without Longview Police Department. Yes. Wow. Yeah. And and and, yeah. And, and, and 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 we couldn't have done this and and enjoyed it without Longview Police Department uh, being as culturally understanding Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as I've seen any police department in the last millennial. Wow. And I, in this millennial, right? Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is they, 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 they presence was known, their presence was felt, uh, they walked the parking lot, they patrolled the parking lot, uh, but the people was respectful. Yeah. Uh, and no laws was broken in the sight of the police officer. No, but I we, saw that. Yeah, but, I saw but, that. But we was able to kick it and have fun culturally, right? Uh, as the culture does. Uh, and then we had that mishap. Yeah, and 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 that's crazy because <clears throat> when you think about that happening the way it did, and the, and and the peace that was there, because I was outside. I walked in the parking lot. They, 
you know, I eat me some chicken. <laughs> Say, man, I got a pork chop bag. You know, I'm a pokey nigga. You made me hungry, to be honest with you. You made me hungry, yeah. That food was I said, good. I got to go out here and get me something to eat, yeah. man. And I went back for another glass of Kool-Aid. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you, they, they probably racked up because that line was long. That line was long. Yeah. That's people was thing. waiting. Saying yeah, the snow cone good. people I didn't even say. get to get outside to see it, really. Snow cone people, y'all left too early. Yeah, they did. Snow cone people left too early. Did they leave early? Yeah, they left because even when we went out there to get a food from the food truck we like the snow cone is gone everybody yeah. stand up outside they could have been selling a lot of snow them. cones right they then and there them. wow yeah. that's they something they could have killed them. and they i'm telling you right now day. we we had a good time out there charleston out there we, we that's it right there. Charles yeah. was out there having a good time too. Yeah, yeah. All them youngsters, they loved it. Say, they young, love him in East Texas. What's them young train gorillas? Oh, them niggas ain't the know, gorillas. The gorillas. Yeah. I know them niggas go to jail all the time. <laughs> 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 Say, them niggas had a uh Police motor, a Corvette motor, and a, and a Crown Victoria. East Texas. Texas. Say, man, I ain't never seen nothing like it. <laughs> I heard you tell me, you said, y'all need to take this to Canada. Yeah. <laughs> I said, damn. I, that was hilarious. But yes. but they loved it. You could tell their energy was right, man. They yeah. were just there. The Sprinter van, the people that came yeah. in that. Them, them folks, man, they, they longed for a good time, too. Yes, man. they did. And then, you know, it was just heartbreaking. Because um, they seen you, and I mean, because yeah. they seen you do this consecutively. Yeah, like this is our um, third, you know what I mean? third annual, and the first two years, this would have been our fourth annual, but so COVID, COVID yeah. cost us a year. Yeah. So let me ask you a question. At the end of everything, because it was a massive crowd, yes. how many people do you think actually turned up at the end right there? Um, that showed up at the event? Uh-huh. At least five to 600. Wow. At least. If you count the children probably more than that because on paper we have right at 400 people and there was people that signed in and people that didn't didn't sign in so yeah. uh, and, then and we that didn't wasn't count the even children. all of them because there no. were still people on the outside on the uh, way coming yes because well, nobody expected it to be well, ending the, so early in, in the process of it ending i say probably another 60 to 70 showed up yeah end, yeah right yeah and then on the process of that ending another 30 and 40 sure. yeah, came right. on top yeah. of that and then throughout the night 10 coming then five coming so uh, it, it was a steady floor traffic. Uh, and what I loved about the event was the main fact that when, when you first started, you said, you know, you're going to have people coming and going. Right. I saw a lot of people coming. I didn't see nobody Nobody going. leaving. Nobody would leave. Everybody was stuck and yes. staying there and enjoying themselves. Yes. And so I was amazed at that. Yeah. It was just a building of crowd. And well, so much uh, was good. What, 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 what got me was uh, <laughs> the spirit of the event, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I'm looking for the trouble. Yeah, 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 there yeah, was yeah. None. I know these young rapping niggas got these guns out here. They, don't they knew better. Damn, they don't they knew better. These Texas was warned. Okay, so, <laughs> they was they was uh, all getting along. So, so yes, yeah, I'm talking about man. Too. It was did a great it job. It was nothing in the atmosphere. Nothing that 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 had any. Di it was no discord in in the atmosphere. Because I love East Texas and East Texas loves me. I see. That's I see. dope. Shout man. out to yeah. East Texas, yeah. man. I represented yeah. for Mama. Yeah, Scott, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did. Everybody came and they was on their best behavior, man. Yeah. And I seen that too, and I was like, man, because yeah. I remember being down there, nigga. I, yeah, in Longview, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. We yeah we gonna shut it down. That's yeah. what we come to do. Oh, uh, yeah. but yeah, you know, I snuck in there with my pocket <laughs> rocket, but I ain't bragging into the event. <laughs> but I wasn't going to Longview, <laughs> Texas. Him no, 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 I wasn't gonna no, do no, no such no, thing. Like, no, 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 we don't know. <laughs> I heard about them boys yeah, down there. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And when I tell you how everything looked good, you had all Man, of those banners, the banners when you walked in. It was dope, wasn't it? When you walk in, yeah. everything was amazing. And I've spoken when I mean I even asked Half Pint. I'm like, have you ever seen anything he he in East seen. Texas that looks this good? Because he's been to so many different places. Right. And he, he's like, no. Never seen it. Wow. Even Doug, when I asked him, he's Doug like, he's said the never same seen thing. nothing in East Texas. Even before we got down there, never I called him. Yeah. He's like, man, she went all out. This looks good. Yeah. So yeah, you so know so what listen, I mean? So listen, we go quit beating around. Let's talk about what happened. Okay. We can't avoid it. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, can't we avoid it. Yeah, we can't even, we gotta go right <laughs> to it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goddamn, we can't avoid it. I can't wait to talk about so, that, man. The so motherfucker. So what, what, when, when I'm looking around, you know what I'm saying, because I'm thinking, I'm in camera mode. Like, I'm right. watching the cameras. Right. I'm making sure everything go good. And all of a sudden, I hear somebody say, well, uh, it's for the close down. I say, what? 
Yeah. It blew my mind. Yeah, it, it was stopped at 830 me. Yeah. Or I, before. Who told us? I don't even remember. We were walking down that aisle. I was walking down that aisle. And somebody came to us and was like, man, they finished shut this down. That was the security guard. Yeah, the yeah, security dude right. came and told me that. Because yeah. he knew we was, you know, yeah. we was rocking out with it and, and establishing yeah. it. I said, what? He's I like, man, they finna shut this down. I was I'm like, pissed. damn. Because I, I knew so it was real pissed. when he said it. Because he was one had the gun and he pissed. walk around as the security doing his thing. Yeah. So what What made them do this and what happened? Just get into it a little bit. From my perspective, I believe it was paranoia on their behalf as a staff. We had an all-white staff except for one black female that worked for the Holiday Inn in Longview that night. And that's where this happened at. And <clears throat> when I booked the venue with the hotel manager, which was the only one that me and Trilly dealt with, she was comfortable, and she made us feel comfortable. We let her know what type of venue we was bringing. These are going to be rappers. It's hip-hop culture. And we would like to come here and hold an event here, a concert, an all-day showcase for artists that are minorities, basically. But it's for everybody. Is it okay? She said, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're used to that. I'm from Denver, Colorado. I oh. get it. I get it. I'm like, okay, all right. Well, how much is your venue? And she told me uh, 4600 I said, no, I'm not doing 4600 I said, we can do 4000 So she was like, in my head, I'm already knowing that you shot me that ridiculous-ass number Yeah. because you really thought I was going to walk my black ass back out of there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you thought you were going to throw a number out there that I didn't have. Yeah, I've been there. So I smiled, and I said, I'll pay it all today. You really You don't have to pay you it all. You to, can do it. You, you don't have to do that. I, oh no, I want to. You know, and we're gonna talk business, are we not? So she said yes. <clears throat> so I I said, well, and she was nice. Don't get me wrong, it was no bad energy with us and her. You know what I'm saying? But it just makes me mad when I recap it. Mm -hmm. now, was the same how, woman at the Yes. She was there. Yes, yeah, she was That's there. That's the one I saw, yeah. So the whole time I'm only dealing with her. And Jonathan, the other guy that was in there, I'm, Jonathan X is his name, gonna, you know, but they know who they are. Um, only dealing with them, and had I would have never booked a venue for my people to go all the way in like I did if I felt like I was going to suffer any type of treatment other than what was displayed to me at the time I rendered my money to this facility. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay? So I was comfortable, and I believed, that she was being honest with me and everything would be fine. <clears throat> we went all the way down to specifics. Me and Trilly walked the property with her. He told her, you know these are rappers and they like to smoke. So is there a way we can let them smoke out in the back? And she took us through a storage area in the back of the hotel and showed us where the back parking lot was coming. She said, well, they can't smoke either. I said, well, we can't control what they smoke. But since we can't smoke inside of the hotel, where can people go? And these are going to be celebrities. I don't want them coming through the crowd because I got to watch out for their safety. So because there's going to be officers assigned to the VIP section, and mm -hmm, there and there mm -hmm. was, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and only those people and people that's VIP would get in that area for their safety. So she walked us through and showed us all this stuff. I'm just giving you guys some specifics it's as okay. to why I'm so pissed off. Mm -hmm. So she knew about the smoking, and she we already informed her that people were going to smoke. She even told us, oh, yeah, they can smoke outside. You can set a table up outside from the smoke. We can use that as a desk. Yeah, whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got that under control. We know that people are going to smoke, even if they have to go outside. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then I said, I want bartenders. You guys, she said, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys can't bring anything in. You know, to, to I said, okay, that's cool. I get that part. And so we're not making anything off the bar because I'm not making anything. Because my event was fully free, free, free to the yeah, public. That's the part that but got me. your hotel capitalizes off of my crowd. And I let you do that. And I was not making no money because, I, you know, that was part of your hotel rules. So I'm going to have to buy. Okay, well, fuck it. Bring out the two bartenders from my people. They drink. You know what I'm saying? You going to run some drink specials for them? But yeah, yeah, yeah. We'd, she she helped us organize this. The vision and all. Mm. Knowingly that I was going to pack that bitch out. Because I told her. No, I got radio advertisement I don't invest it into. I don't pay graphic artists and promoters to promote this. This is streaming on the blaze as I speak to you every day. And East Texas, no, I'm not lying. And she knew that. <laughs> you knew it. You knew. I showed you the artists that I was that I had headlined from Tech Luwa 
to Sancho Saucy, to Bugatti Casino, to Muddy Casino, to Lil Runny, and then not to mention the all-star crews like Half Paint, you know what I'm saying, uh, Space Boy was in the building. You knew how much I spent on a, 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 a camera crew, artistic visual studios wow. out of Dallas, wow. Texas. You knew everything down to the decorators I paid for, to the face painting woman that I paid for. Wow. You knew everything I invested my money into. And you kept telling me it would be fine. <clears throat> so a day before the event, me and a, one of my decorators was there that morning with her. And she said, ah, Longview Police Department does not want to secu be security off duty. And that was part of my package, too, because she told me that two officers came with the package I paid for. Mm -hmm. But before the day of my event, all of a sudden Longview Police Department don't want to have anything to do with it. So I seen one of Longview Police officers, which was a minority black male officer that I know very well. And I talked to him. He said, yeah. I said, you don't want to come do security for me? He said, yeah. He said, just go down. I don't got too old, but you know, they should give y'all some from the hotel. Cause I said, yeah, but they saying y'all don't want to do it. Okay. With all that being said, <clears throat> She knew every detail, and she knew I was going to hire extra security, even if she didn't give it to me. Wow. I told her, I have two security companies. Shout out to Go and Gold Street Team in Longview, Texas, up under the ownership of Joey Miller. Mm. And shout out to the level four security company that I hired that provided me six officers that were armed that could apprehend at all times and I let my public know you come in that building with that bullshit I'm gonna punch your ass out and you're going to jail so my crowd already knew I was not playing Wow! because I'm gonna I'm gonna protect everybody in the building because safety is number one with me <clears throat> we had a couple of incidences that resulted in them seeing someone come to the bar, or I mean, not even a couple, once. Somebody coming to the bar, and they said, oh, we got underage drinking going on. So I'm like, who? You know, because they came to me with that first. How would they, how, saying they brought it in, or? No, they're saying that somebody, they seen somebody buying drinks and giving it to minors. So my question is, did you who? go quit? I don't know. Point them out. How you gonna tell me that uh, some? Did you ask for the miner's ID? But I guess when they couldn't, what it was, mm -hmm. they didn't. They didn't. The person on them, they were grown, but they didn't have an ID. So this alleged information yes. is really not even alleged. something that you could even value. No. So that was one incident. Okay, we took care of it. Second incident, we had Jello shots that because uh, our DJ does trail ride. Shout out to DJ Hollywood. Okay. He does trail rise, and he had some jello shots. Everybody know him in Longview and East Texas for these damn jello shots. It's jello shots, you know what I'm saying? But he didn't know that the rules was where he couldn't bring in the uh, jello shots. They was in syringes, right? Yeah, some of them were in syringes, and some of them were in the little okay, cups. Okay, so that's okay. what she meant by syringes. Yeah. Okay. That see, to them, they don't see, and, and to us, it's cultural, right? Yeah. And they mind they had syringes. Wow. See, on syringes... Sounds pretty, pretty heroin. Yeah, you, pretty you see bad. what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, we ain't thinking that, but they are. Wow. We're right. entering into their building, their yeah. establishment. Yeah. Uh, but I'm 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 gonna chime in when she finished the story. Go ahead. So that was one incident, and then the head That's of security. Two. Yeah. So the head of security, Mr. Uh, I can't I think his name is Fagan. He came and went straight over there. It was no scene, no nothing. Told the DJ, you can't have these in here. Got the whole cooler, walked out. Everything kept going. It ain't no scene. Okay, cool. We we, we, we respecting what you're telling us. We're not doing nothing. Well, because of that one incident, incident on the bar, she pulled the whole bar back, and I paid for that, too, to midnight. Wow. Well, to 11 o'clock, because they had to shut it down at 11. So she pulled it back. She pulled that at 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Wow. We all grown in there. Then you was telling your employees to watch the money. Watch the money? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And one of their employees told me this. Watch the money. Watch the money. She said, girl, these people ain't trying to uh, steal no money. This is what the employee talking to me about. They don't even know I got this shit. Uh, th th these people ain't trying to spend no money. They spending, I mean, they spending no money. money. Yeah, they spending money. So they pulled the bar back. Wow. Wow. Okay, you told me about that. So they was nitpicking. You know what I'm saying? On just, and I'm not saying they didn't have justified, but I told her, I said, so you mean to tell me that in a perfect, you live in a perfect world, and if someone's throwing a concert, that somebody's not going to do something. But if they do, they get apprehended. And I've never seen a rock concert shut down behind nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like even if you fight to get your ass up out of there, they're not going to shut the damn event down. Yeah, they're going to get, they're going to break the shit up and move your ass out and let you continue your show. 
You know, mm. but in our instance, we didn't have no fights, no kind of disruptions, no, no kind of bad energy, and you looking around, pinpointing on every little thing except for the ordeal with the young lady, and she ended up not being a vendor on the vendor list. You know, I'm not gonna put too much of that out there. That's fine. But she ended up having some illegal merchandise in the vendor area that should not have been there, and I was so hurt when I seen it. I'm not gonna lie, me and her have since had a discussion. She has apologized, and she's even offered to help run the Fast Bash back because she knew she was directly part of the reason that they used to um, discontinue the show. Because even with that being said and me being upset with her, they still could, I paid for that event center. Yeah, 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 and, and, and not to mention all of the other things that were were the other stuff you paid for. Yes. The they things can, that the, yeah. the artists and all that stuff yes, just down I, the drain. I had every single person there including Bubba Dub yeah. and, and people I paid for. Like I don't have an artist that was in that building not nobody that can say they didn't get their bag from me. Wow. I paid them. Even when they showed up and I, it wasn't their fault and was very heartbreaking and at the end of the day most of them was just disappointed from the East Texas artists. Shout out to them Bigger Bag Tim, Al D, Smitty Hawkins, and Roe Tarantino that showed up looking amazing along with my own team, Fast yeah, Entertainment. I've seen it. You know, and then on top of that, the booked celebrities, Lil Ronnie, uh, Muddy Casino, Bugatti Casino, Sancho Saucy, and Tech. I told them on the phone, y'all think y'all gonna hand me back $6,000? And all of those people I paid for, and I don't know how much you think we cost, but I promise you, just an artist alone, that's 30000 I know. 30000 I know. You're not going to send me out your door after you don't shut my event down thinking you can just offer me what I paid on your building and what I paid for rooms there, which was That's 20 right. rooms. Because the production itself costs. The production All of that stuff costs. The artist, the production, promotion, everything. That, security, the promotion, security. Everything. So they, you know, that's, that's a, hey man, that's a big deal. It was. And like I told them, and this is where they get it com confused and twisted. I told them it ain't even about the money. It's the principle to me and you owe because I came in expecting to lose 60000 because I donated it. That's it. That's it. But you're not going to hold no, me no, no. on the, my the, donation. The mental anguish yeah. to do you like that yeah. in that situation is way, way more powerful than anything money can offer. Yeah, you can't give me my memories back no. from my people. We, I've been preaching the whole time. You can ask East Texas. We about to make history. Yeah. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like, on my soul. That's what I was pumping. You know, like I told her, I out there in the hallway while they out there crying them fake ass tears, only worried about their fucking jobs. When she had the call that she could have let us continue on, and I had a civilized conversation. And at the time, I'm trying to be nice because I don't want to go to jail behind the young lady that just left. Correct. Correct. Because I'm on that. Yeah. I was pissed. Like, I already really. know. I already know. If it wasn't for Charleston back there with me, I think I probably would have been on the news. Yeah, yeah I ain't yeah. had no business jumping in them four business. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't had no business. I ain't had no motherfucking so, business. So, Charleston, what, what do you Get think, man? Business, man. What do you think about everything that went down, man? Oh, uh, man, I don't know these people, but I know, I know, I know, the, I know the spirit of my people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, no, nah, man, uh, man, I was, I, 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 I couldn't believe it, right? So, uh, man, that young lady, hmm. every, every, every. Uh, angry emotion, uh, every heartbreak, every disappointment, uh, every frustration should be directed at her. Wow. And not the hotel. Mm -hmm. Them was two peasant white girls. Yes. It was peasants. Wow. Uh, and let me just give you a harsh example. Massa okay for the slaves to have a party in the big house. Mm. Massa okay. And the only reason Mouser okay is because the overseer who work out in the fields with the slaves that sit on the horse, the one who whip us, came to Mouser and said, I think it's a good idea if we let them have a party in the big house. Mm. So Mouser said, okay, anything go wrong, it's on you. And mm -hmm. this how, this how exactly the, what happened. This how the overseer feed his family. Now, it's, 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 it's somebody that, that controls the dogs when the slaves run away. And his only job is when the slaves run away, he go get the dogs to go get them niggas. But he really want that overseer's job. 
So when everything go wrong, the one with who trained the dogs want to be over the niggas. So when everything go wrong, he telling the overseer, who master go be, Mr. Jim go be mad at you. They done tore up, oh, Mr. Jaw, you might lose your job this time now, Jimmy. Oh, you might done been to it now. So you have that element involved in this. Yeah. We, this is, this is, the, 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 the fast bash was hit by surprise. This caught them off guard. They yeah. didn't know this was coming. <laughs> this, this rocked them. This really, they were knocked out. <laughs> yeah. Everybody knocked out, man. And, and and these people saying get out. And they yeah. need to get out now. Now. But the DJ still allowing people to perform. And I'm saying, man, they can't kick these niggas out the house. These niggas go tear up something. <laughs> yes, they got this fucked up. Yeah. So I'm I'm hearing her I'm standing outside the door and they ask her to step in. So now it's two on one. I'm seeing she's Emotional. She's in an emotional state. Uh, man, I can't let her go go back there, and, and she don't have no kind of support Real to time. help her advocate. Uh, yeah. Because they, she rocked. Yeah, she she was rocked. I mean, she, man, she pleading, mm -hmm. and 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 uh, it, it's a part in Django uh, when they showed when Django was a slave and he was pleading with the slave master, please, man, yeah, don't, yeah, don't yeah, whoop yeah, his don't wife. Whoop us. Yeah, yeah. Don't whoop her. Yeah. Man, please, but begging with him, man, I do, man, let please. And, and, and he was saying, no, uh-uh, uh-uh. She ain't nah. going to be no good. That's what he said. She ain't going to be no yeah, good. Yeah, he was begging, please, man. And so yeah. my mind went there, right? She pleading with these two white women and 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 and, and the lack of compassion. Yeah, that part. Uh, the, the, the lack of... Uh, the lack of empathy, uh, the coldness. Uh, I stepped in the room. Yeah, I stepped in the room with them. And, uh, you know, I heard her talk, and they, they wasn't with it. And, and, and I'm, I'm hearing their response. But I'm seeing the disposition of one, and I'm seeing the disposition of the other. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing the one in power is being led by the one that's, that's, that's not in power. Right? Uh, so they're saying all the things uh, discrediting uh, why. And so uh, Mama Scott asked, you know, can I talk, can I talk to Massa? Can I talk to Massa? <laughs> yeah, can I talk? I don't want to talk to Massa. Yeah, I need to talk to that. To I need to, to talk the, to yeah, the owners. Yeah. But can they tell me? Yeah. I spent this much amount of money can they tell can they at least tell me and she said no and she said this is him calling right now and walked away wow so i knew uh th this was a discretionary call mm -hmm. so the one woman said they need to go out there and tell the dj to cut the music off right now they need to tell them people to pack up yeah. the vendor so i told her how about me and you ma'am yeah me and you together we go out and tell, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so now they want to know. What did she say? Uh, she, 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 she wasn't with that. So now they want to know, well, who is he? Well, who are you? You know, uh, ma'am, I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to help. But I understand you guys are saying, let's go. Yeah. So now we need an exit strategy, right? You want to kick us out of here. So now, now let's think about yeah. how we go protect the police. Cause now they fit have to. You fit to put them in jeopardy now. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. fit to put everybody in yeah. jeopardy and just tell these people to get out. Cut the music off. Get out. Yeah, ma'am. Let's think safety now. <laughs> we need an exit strategy. So yeah. now I'm thinking. Yeah. you know I'm taking them to a whole nother level because now, uh, you're already liable, uh, yeah. for the financial. Yes. Uh, consequences that that comes behind this let's not put lives in jeopardy i know y'all don't think that much of us but i tell the ma'am you don't know these niggas they gonna tear this up i looked the right enough face you don't know these kind of niggas they gonna tear this place up if you go tell him cut that music he down that. yeah <laughs> what did she say because i was wanting to be one of them niggas <laughs> 
<laughs> she say, you don't want to tell them you put oh, shut this down abruptly. No, we got we oh. need an extra strategy, ma'am. So so what I did, I put it back on them and they got offensive. I said, ma'am, you're the boss. Well, what? that's not fair. You're try I said, no, if you listen to what I'm saying, yeah. you can be a hero in this situation. <laughs> yeah. You really can. Man, allow her to go out and explain to them an yes. uh, exit strategy. Because they just want to go pull plugs, get out of here. Yeah. Uh, so, no, nah, that ain't right, no, man. That so ain't gonna allow then her. I went out there at that point and made a damn speech. I see. To the I was up there with you. Like, yeah. come on, Megan. You know, that's her name. You know, everybody knows who she is. So come on up here, and I'm gonna. And I told everybody, y'all, hey, she's nice enough to let us come in. I was on her, you know, on on their ass about let's follow the rules, guys. You know, since she's over here in my ear, because I don't even see y'all doing the shit that y'all been accused of. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Except for the little Jello pops. You know what I'm yeah, saying? But yeah. okay, that was before. I think the I don't know if that was before the Shay Trendy stuff or I don't say her name, but whatever, it's out the bag. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if it was before that or not, but I on her behalf went and talked to my crowd. Every time something happened, we addressed it. We had to break up our hey, you know, yeah, we yeah, yeah. to hey guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I need y'all to listen. We want to try to get this thing, you know, yeah, under control. You know, so, and, and we did that and then after that she was just like I'm going to be known in the whole hotel industry as selling drugs out of my hotel. Well, I I, I can get I where get she that. come from, right? Yeah. Uh, in their world, that's going to be the Monday morning's topic. Yeah. And her name is associated right. with that. So she's going to be the butt of the jokes. Hey, make sure you don't throw another bad party. Like, you know, so she's going to have to deal <laughs> with the employment shame of it right in yeah. her world yeah. wouldn't be no difference if, if, if we if we was working at a hotel and we booked a red bunch of redneck people so I understand her part yeah. because she got that one lady in her ear you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. so probably want her job definitely probably been there longer than her hmm. she's from Denver she's coming from a liberal state into a conservative town yeah and she didn't and, realize that and, and she's in a position that she's in was very empathetic to the culture in the beginning. In the beginning. But now bitter. Yeah. It's just like, I told you not to tell nobody. I taught you how to read. Why were you reading? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You remember when the nigga yeah, couldn't yeah, read? Yeah, yeah, And the white girl showed you. So now it's a yeah. disdain because now I'm in trouble. So let me just say this about uh, the following day. Uh, Mama Scott's still mad. Hell yeah. Still man, she, mad, still, right? Still, still mad, right? <laughs> uh, I know somebody got to be with her who's not mad. Yeah. Definitely. Who, 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 who can think logically, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I gave a, a, an attorney number, but she really don't need an attorney. Once we had a phone conversation with, with, with their, uh, their executives, uh, and they were willing, and they are willing, uh, to hear her proposal. So... Uh, you don't need an attorney at this point. No. Uh, so mm -hmm. uh, they they understand some errors were made on, on their part. Uh, they can't come out and say it because they can be sued. Uh, but they leaving the door open for negotiation to her for her to be mm -hmm. reimbursed. Wow. Uh, for yeah. her event. That's a good thing. Yeah. You know, if we can get there, you know, um, I know it's a number. You yeah. don't got to state it on here, but right. <laughs> there's a number and there's a situation that has to take and place. I, I'm not expecting them. I'm not like a. I'm not a grimy person. I'm not yeah. one of them niggas that I could go for it all. And I and because I do believe in what I believe in, and I know I fe I feel like they just got um, intimidated by the size of the cry crowd growing, and there was a few isolated incidences, and and they just imagined the worst happening. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because that was it was a lot of us. In that building, that they night. didn't expect and we that. Good. That was a lot more than what they thought that, yes. that was going to go on. And I believe, like I said, the, if the liberal woman from Denver, Colorado, had some more liberal women with her, yeah. they probably could have dealt with it. But when you mix in the people who are from there, because yeah. I heard a few things myself. Yeah. yeah. Well, how about know? this? Uh, if 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 the owners, the owners build in our communities, they're mm -hmm. obligated to know where they're building it. Mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, don't just have your workers getting to know us. Mm -hmm. Let us get to know you, owner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, uh, they they responded quickly, quickly than I mm -hmm. thought they would. So, mm -hmm. so well, we get them the benefit of the doubt. Mm -hmm. wow. But 
we as black people on the phone with probably millionaires. And they say, this is such and such of operations with no name. Yep. This is the uh, retired yeah. owner of such and such, <laughs> no name. So we really talking to invisible people. Yeah. 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 Uh, for standard practices, is there a name? Uh, you want her to tell y'all all this information, but we don't even know who we talking to. Right. So then they identify names. Uh, she talked her way to a negotiation. Let me just say that. Her, 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 her passion, uh, man, uh, she, she might, she, her, her passion uh, got her uh, and, and her spirit got, got her. And so, uh, yeah, man, at the end of the day, can she submit a proposal on what she thinks she lost? Yeah. And, and, and we go from there. And, and they said, cool. Yeah, and, and that's all we wanted. That's all. That, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. That, so, so, and 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 just fast forward. Will will there be a, there will be another fast? That's fast? exactly yes. what I was thinking. Yes, I w I would love to run it back because for the simple reason, like every artist and every person that contributed from real life street stars, all the podcasts, all the videographers, the bloggers, the people that really came out and they were we were all just in awe because of us being around the vendors, all the black owned businesses that was in that hallway that was just beginning to start making money when all this stuff happened. Uh, my heart go out to them as well because they put a lot of work in bringing their product through the door, setting up, you know, it was just amazing with the networking opportunities that was in oh, that building that cheated. day. Yeah, oh, yeah, they I didn't even get a chance to get out there and shop. Me I was neither. trying to get out there. And, <laughs> and let me tell you, we bought a few things. Yeah, me too. Even yeah, I, yeah. I spoke to some people who came to enjoy themselves. Yeah. And, you know, they love the fact that it was a free event because yeah. in their mind, they're like, okay, so they have money in their pocket to spend yeah. with the vendors. With it's the, the vendors. first thing that they, they were really thinking about. Yeah. I'm going to spend my money. They're like, where are the vendors at? Yeah. And they were willing to spend. Yeah, that was my that fast bash has always been my gift because, like I say, I when I looked at initially it was an investment behind my sons or opportunity from a person up here out of Dallas, but that fell through, and we wanted to be able to present them. And then I God just said, "Don't make it just about y'all." So my oldest son franchise, like, we need we need to bring them to a big event. You know, that's how it all got started. He said, so we, we announced that, hey, we got an investor behind us at initially or whatever the case may be. But I want to create something for a platform because at that time I had started getting to know other artists in East Texas raw like camp nowhere and just a lot of them uh mo henry just right. so many sheldon Vi it's so many i can name i don't now ld was on here a few days ago he said he couldn't name 10 artists i can mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i can go above 10 and i and i know they music mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and if we have a lot of stars in east texas it's beyond 10 yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's beyond 10 to me you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to step on that, and I believe that. I love me some Al D, too, but I'm going to have to be in disagreement with well, him. Well, you know Al D. is controversial. <laughs> he likes that. He, 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 said that to get him that, no, he said that to get that out of you yeah. right there. But he That's always what he talks wants. to me behind the scenes, too. Al D. is one of my biggest mm -hmm. people I talk to a lot of times. Him being a bad team, all you, of them. How are you talking about all the artists? You're not just talking about your camp. No, because I love you a lot of them. Bring in everybody. The Smitty with Hawkins, you. everybody. Ro Tarantino's, everybody. I, I can I can sit here and go on well, and on and, and on you know, and on but, for but, days but, but about we, artists. We made out of it. East we Texas. made it. You you came with artists from up here as well. So yeah. well, well, I mean, me, just a big big deal. Yeah. Let, let, let me say this: whether they become famous or not, they all got fans, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Each artist got their own demographic of yeah. fans. Yeah. She allows these artists to perform for their fans. fans. Yes. Who else is doing that? Normally they gotta yeah. pay. Yeah. Normally they gotta pay. Yeah. To go perform somewhere. Well, they had to pay an interest fee. I didn't let theirs be free. They're, the reason why the artist was not free is because I don't want them thinking that this is sweet. Yeah. How, how, you know, my man, how much was the interest fee? They had from one fifty to three hundred, depends on where they fell at in the lineup. But when they gamble, when you gamble a hundred to 
three hundred with three hundred dollars on an interest, you know, they have a lot. Like right now, the first place winner, I got to get with him. Shout out to VBS Stoney. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cowboy boot rapping yeah. that nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cowboy boot rapping that. I like that He's little nigga. That, that nigga rap. Winner, yeah, he out. grabbed his baby as yeah. soon as he won. That nigga wow. won my heart, boy. Yeah. Say that yeah. nigga won my heart, man. You Single talk, father. You said something about somebody that couldn't hear that brought their mama up. There. Yeah, yeah. That little yeah. nigga be on my podcast Tuesday. Uh, really? I, you I got met, it. Listen, I met about ten young rapping niggas. I'm bring, I'm putting them all on my podcast. Wow. They ain't got no yeah. being to being on there, but I'm putting them motherfuckers on there. I ain't bullshit. <laughs> they, they ain't got no business on we there. Bring your whole goddamn gang, nigga. That's I'm putting all y'all on there. All right, man. But no, nah, it was a young brother, man. Uh, he had on all white with the Burberry trim. And, uh, uh, Everybody uh, was talking about him. Jason. Yeah, man. Jason he, Smooth. Everybody yeah. talking about Say, him. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Smooth. Uh, yeah. I think he got like five kids. Yeah. Uh, he did that, though. He, he had all of them in the little t shirts, yeah. boy. Mm -hmm. I, I enjoyed Smooth set. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. Smooth he, was sharp, too. And, I ain't gonna lie. Up, and he grew up with a deaf mother. And so when yeah. I heard that nigga say, man, my mother can't hear, but she can hear me through my song. I'm like, oh, man, that Make nigga got it. Oh, boy, that nigga macking on me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I enjoyed a lot of their music, you know. Hey man, I I, I just I, I appreciate the opportunity, man. Yeah. I definitely love the fact that that something like that, black excellence, man. Yeah. I, I believe in that. I believe our people we love hard, man. And yeah. and we so, you know, yeah, we get emotional, but we love hard. I yeah. put you know? this I, for for my experience, I put this up there with the Nipsey Hustle funeral. Wow. Mm. Wow. Wow, that's heavy. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I put this up there with the Nipsey Hussle wow. funeral. Yeah, he gonna man. make her start crying. Yeah, don't, don't, don't cause start crying. man, I put my all into Fast Bash because I believe. First of all, let me shout yeah. out and give kudos to the to the ones that keep me motivated the most. That's my husband for one. He's my number one. Yeah, this is a quad support. nigga, big old yeah. quad. Yeah. You don't know if he like with him. You don't know if he like you or not. I'm still messing with him. Yeah, yeah. next I time I see him, I'm just gonna hug him. Yeah, next time I see him, I'm just gonna hug him. He did good because even doing the whole thing, I'm looking at him. He didn't get mad. Nah. He didn't nothing. He was just a nigga, good it's like no emotion, yeah. and I'm like, yeah, it's a reason for that. But because I love him, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to the big fella. Yeah, man. But shout out to him. Mr. Shout Scott, out to man. my entire family. Shout out to my label, which is it consists of AJ One K that today just joined uh, a management deal with Fast Entertainment for marketing and management for him through Authentic Empire so we're excited about that thank you Boo Man out there in Atlanta Georgia yeah so we're we gonna see him going next on. week and uh, shout out to The Journey shout out to Chi Hindi DJ K Franchise say look out Trilly and Ghost that are all fast entertainment wow. artists Shout out to all the East Texas artists that I mean that I know under the sound of my voice because I love you all and I do not want to go to naming because y'all would be like, you miss me, Mama Scott. So just to avoid that, shout out to all of y'all that fuck with me and I fuck with y'all on your music. Keep going, keep grinding for real, for real. Stay positive. You know, don't 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 let, don't let the devil use your mind. Just do it for the passion of it and you won't ever lose. If you're doing what you love, how can you lose? You can't. Man. You know, uh, shout out to all the vendors. Shout out to the security teams that I had that I mentioned earlier. Yeah, especially that country top of niggas. They say, oh, yeah. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to check and I'm going to go around and around. Now, you got me here to 12 now. Cause you got me to 12. He said like he going to do whatever to 12 o'clock. <laughs> Well, I say that they need to put that nigga on the police for me. Whoever that nigga is, nigga, that I love to protect me, uh, sir. Yeah, I love that nigga. There. I'm, I want that yeah, nigga number was, for mine. He was super yeah. dope, though. You know, y'all love man? that nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He was, he, shout out to him. He got a uh, that's the level four security uh, company out of uh, Gladewater. So I want them niggas on my team. Them. Them. I want them yeah. niggas. Yeah, yeah they some great ass uh, security officers. You know, so mm -hmm. shout out to just every single body. Shout out to the kids that came out and enjoyed themselves. Themselves. You know, kids are getting face painted. The, the lady that did the face painting, you're an amazing person. She did a good job. Oh my God, their faces were so beautiful. Mm, beautiful. Mm. Hey, and you know what? Did no kids hang outside the building? That's how much fun they were having no, on the inside. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You you right. That's yeah. how much fun they were having yeah. on the inside. I saw almost every kid had face painting going on. Yeah. Wow. Everyone.
one. Yes. Shout out to the guys that did my flyers, the the motion flyers. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Darren out of Tyler. He's the one that did my um, all the flyers for all the um, East Texas Fast Bash artists. And I just want to say, you know, for those that perform, some of y'all at the end didn't get a chance to do your full sets. I've already offered, hey, if you want your money back, I get your money back. Cool. I'm not tripping by none of that because I know y'all got cheated on the end. Some of y'all been like, nah, Mama Scott, we ain't tripping about that. Some of y'all need it, so that's cool. You know, but at the end of the day, I'm just going to say this. When you're doing stuff like this, bro, I always be prepared to never do what you can't afford to lose. Like, so you ain't got to worry about, you know, just worst case scenario, don't do what's uncomfortable for you. Wait till it's comfortable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know what could happen. You know, and if I went in a position to where I could say, you can have your money back, y'all would be mad at me right now for those that need yeah, it. Tom. Yeah, you y'all knew she was having this event three, four months ago. Yeah. Nigga, you could have fucked up on this here, nigga. You could have <laughs> ended up on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah you could have they, they gave these three stimulus checks out of yeah. the last 90 days. Yeah, shit, this shit, yeah. And they finna get another one, nigga. So y'all yeah. to be all right. Yeah, yeah shit. Say, man, check it, man. It's been another great segment, man. We gonna so end got, it like I that. Are we gonna question. end it? I'm not uh, ending it. Um, so it, when you move on to have another one, where would you think about doing it this time? Um, pro- I don't even know, but the only place that I could take it because it's going to be stupid the next time, you know, because they see be more people, you know, it would have to be somewhere like the mod car. Mod car would be the only place, you know, if I was going to do it in Longview that I would, you know, it would have to be something that could accommodate us. What's again. that like a stadium? It's like their convention hall. Oh, okay. For Longview. So that's inside? Yeah, it's inside. Okay. I, I don't want to go back outside. Nah. You don't want to go back outside? You know what I'm saying? Outside. Nah, I, I want to keep it inside. I think we deserve that shit. We don't we going to keep that production years. coming, too. Yeah, shout out to Artistic Media <laughs> Studios. We going to keep that production coming. I'm, I'm hooked on that now. Well, uh, uh, shout out to the city of Longview. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, for... for they don't put up barriers for her to do this, from, man, from what yeah. I hear. Yeah, uh, that looks... Uh, that's great, uh, man. Yeah, they, they, they don't put up barriers. And, and on the flip side of that, all these people that she bringing into the city, we stopping at stores. Uh, on yeah. the way out, we stopping at Whataburger. So Longview City yeah. uh, benefits, you know, from us coming in from out of town, spending our out of town money yeah. uh, while we're there those that, that day or yeah. two. So uh, this is a win-win yeah. uh, for the city of Longview. Wow. Uh, for that outsider that came in and ruined it, uh, I really want to tear her ass up on mm. her, but I see y'all want to give her a break. <laughs> So, so I, I'm going to let her make it, too. That's why I've been quiet. I ain't yeah, saying yeah, yeah. anybody. But, yeah, I want to call her all kind of low-down, dirty mother, rot motherfucker. They need to hang you down there. But I said, no, nah, God, we ain't going to leave her out there. We don't throw none of ours away. Uh, we might have to write and some character letters. And he will do it, too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he can go there. Oh, he, he, oh, he can go there. Yeah, yeah. yeah he be good. Hurt. Yeah. I was hurt. Now, don't think that I didn't have visions of cussing Shay out. You know yeah, what I'm saying? But yeah. I love her, too. She I, had to fight just, bacterials on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. Yeah. It was horrible. But at the end of the day, she's really remorseful, I feel, enough to even just say, hey, it's on me. I took that from you. I'm so sorry. I have the type of heart. I know we all fuck up. Even though I'm mad, I don't have a a, a, a vengeful heart or a heart that's going to hover over people's head because I used to be one of the ones that yeah. fucked up. Not like that, though. I ain't never fucked anybody to <laughs> me. But I have made mistakes that was major that hurt a, people that I love. Yeah. So I have to remember for me to be forgiven, I have to be a forgiving soul yeah. too. Wow. And, and on that sister's part, man, let me yeah. just say this. Uh uh she go need she needs support out yeah. that way. So yeah. if y'all know any good lawyers in Longview that y'all yeah. can refer to Mama oh, Scott. Oh, she gonna need them. Uh, yeah. she she go need some somebody from Longview yeah. that can at least go advocate and know some people down there on her behalf. Uh, yeah. she made wow. a big mistake. Yeah. Uh, uh you know, it, it, it she made a big yeah. mistake. On paper it looked bad. Yeah. yeah. But it, it ain't as bad as it looked. As but it she looked, made but no. she made a big mistake. A yeah. big yeah. big mistake. Yeah, yeah. And 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 like I said, hey man, we we pray for her. we make yeah. sure she know that we you know we hate we hate it happen yeah, yeah. but but at the end of the day man you know that, that's hell to bring that, that yeah that's hell right yeah, there because, man that, you know that's one, a hell of a one mistake of the officers, man. One, and i'm gonna let you go one of the officers that came back to talk to me he was really cool real young white cop right and i, I was he was like shit my sister sells the shit where well, she's from <laughs> you know i'm serious he's he upstate. Talking to him yeah, she he, upstate. yeah so we sitting there talking to him and my thing was is like I never want her, the person that, that did this, you know, feel like I'm not condemn, con- condemning her for the product because, hell, I I was just like, why you didn't get with me after the show? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, you coming was, in. You know, you know, not here. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's yeah. the green. I felt the same way. Like, yeah. if I had a new, if I had a new, I'd have been 
I'd have talked to her yeah, and got get that, that shit yeah, out of here. I would I would have changed that. Yes. Automatically I know that yes. because of where I come from. You know yes. you know this can't happen here like that. Not and here. I didn't get that opportunity. Not here. I was hoping like damn I'd have got that out of there. He kept saying that to me the whole time. Yes. I would have seen it. Why hadn't anybody seen it and said it to me? Yeah, I would have got it because I know how I am. I'd have made that go away quick because I'm trying to make something happen. So if anybody bought product from that table and you didn't tell her get that shit out of there, you just as responsible to it. My eyes because yeah, the That's officers true. told me they seen the packages out there in the parking lot. They said, yeah, yeah, she made some bread. <laughs> but at the end of the day, like, bro, y'all know that's a big no though. Y'all all responsible in my sight because y'all could have said, you know you ain't supposed to have it in here, bro. Now, now, yeah. hey, listen, you now, can't have it in here. Now did y'all hear that, boys and girls? <laughs> the officers yes. said that you niggas left the packages in the parking lot. <laughs> the evidence in the parking so, lot. So so what they did, they went and got the packages. Yeah. And they go be at her trial or her court date. Yep. To With show evidence that she was out there distributing drugs. That's right. Because mm -hmm. right. you niggas threw the packages in the parking <laughs> Boy, <laughs> niggas ain't shit. <laughs> Say, hey, man, that's been another great segment, man. Them my niggas. Say, chicken, man. That's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, man. Yeah. Yeah.